Charlie Adam, do you know what your overall FIFA 18 rating is? I don't have a clue, but I'll have a guess. Yeah, go on. 65? 65? It's been a bit harsh on yourself there. Is it? It's higher than that, yeah. Oh, wow. Mid-70s? Yes. 76? It's 74. Oh, that's not bad. Are you that's... happy with that? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. You'll take that. What do FIFA rate as Charlie Adams' best stat? Passing or shooting? Very close as well. Shooting. You think shooting is your best asset? Yes. Well, FIFA disagrees. It's got shooting 75, passing 79. That's, I'm happy with that, yeah. It's yeah. average <laughs> okay. uh, 79. No, it's not bad for passing. You answered that very quickly. So, in your mind, you think your best asset is, is shooting shots from long range? No, I don't know why. I should, <laughs> say that. I should think I'm a better passer. OK. But I just thought that it might be something, yeah, shooting because of that goal. I don't know if maybe that yeah. come into it, but... Uh, no, passions. Passion is my strongest point in my game, probably, yeah. You mentioned that goal. Uh, I imagine you're talking about your goal against Chelsea. Yeah. Is that the greatest goal you've ever scored? No. No? No. Um, I always say that goals are important goals, and uh, I think the one for Blackpool at Wembley was... In the playoff final? Yeah, yeah. It was it's probably the biggest one for me. So that's that's your best goal because of what it meant? Yeah. But technically, would you look at that as Technically, I still think technically it was as good a goal as Wembley's seen for a long time. Dean Windass might uh, disagree yeah. with me here, but um, no, it's, um, it was just the occasion, getting up and over the wall, the distance. I practised a few on the, fr the Friday before the game, and um, it was just, yeah, I think that's the, the goal. But obviously the whole whole Premier League thing in the, the sky and Chelsea, it was um, and Courtois, it's, it's nice to beat a goalie like that. So you mentioned the Chelsea goal. We can't mention the Chelsea goal without talking about that celebration. Oh, uh, horrendous. What was that about? <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> it was just Crouch, he was on the bench, and um, I don't know why he just said if he'd score, let's do the robot, and it was the worst, <laughs> worst robot I've ever seen. Do you want to give us a demo now? No. no. <laughs> I thought you said that. Okay, moving on. Who is the best at passing at Stoke? Apart from me. Well, you, um, you, 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 it could be you. Nah, I think I'll go for me. Correct. Charlie Adams, 79 as the highest rated for passing at Stoke. Affleye on 78 and Shakiri on 78, so it's tight, but they've given you as best passer at Stoke. Uh, FIFA know what they're talking about, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> OK, who is the highest rated player overall in Stoke? I'd probably go for Shakiri. I'd probably say he's the, the overall, the got everything. Once again, you're spot on. Jack Butland, 81, so he pushes him close, but the highest is Shakiri with 82. How good a player is he? He's a good player. He's a very good player. Um, come with a big reputation, um, playing for Bayern Munich, Inter Milan. Um, but now he's come out of a couple of injuries, which is disappointing for us and him personally. But uh, no, you could see he's got wonderful talent and he's a match winner for us. Is that a big thing when you play with players who've played at the very highest level? They offer something, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch as well? Yeah, they're different characters. Um, you know, you know he's, he's a quiet lad, likes to have a laugh and a joke as well. But um, no, he's a, he's a great talent and um, you know, still young, um, learning the game. And um, yeah, he's, he's he's done well for the, for the club. And you know, he was a, a big name coming into yeah. to Stoke. Yeah, top player. Right, there are two players with the joint best defending stats at the club. Who are they? Got to go for Ryan Shawcross. Correct, Ryan Shawcross with 80. One other player with 80. Eric Peters. No. No. Glenn Johnson? No. No. Kurt Zuma? No. Oh. Nobody else. <laughs> um, Bruno Martinsindi? No. Can't be Jeff Cameron, can it? It's not Jeff Cameron. Oh. The two players are Ryan Shawcross and Darren Fletcher. Defence? Defending, yeah. They ah, are the two can't players. Can't be Darren Fletcher's a midfielder. This is what it jumps out to me. Does that surprise you, considering he's not a defender? <laughs> yeah, because it's defending is defend. Listen, Fletcher's a. Been an excellent top player all his career, but I think FIFA's got that one wrong. He's definitely a midfielder, not a defender. Okay, you said Shawcross sure, straight away. Yeah. Is he the most complete defender at Stoke? Would you say? Yeah. Knows his job. Knows knows his strengths. Um, we're a better team when he's in the in the side, and um, yeah, you know he's a big loss for us um, when he is uh, when he is missing. Do you think he's underrated? Because every player we talk to about Ryan Shawcross sings his praises, say how good he is technically. Uh, do you better, think he's underrated? He's better technically than what people think. Yeah. Undervalues himself. He's a big player for us and um, he's a key player for us in the whole whole unit. But uh, no, I think he's he's a wonderful player and he does well for us. But you know, he's always going to get remembered for for that game against Sweden and for his England debut, which was which was tough. Yeah. Um, 
and uh, you know he's never got an opportunity since. Okay, who is the slowest player in the Stoke squad? Oh, I hope it's not me, is it? <laughs> is it me? I'm not saying anything. Is you've it got, me? You've got to give me a name. Charlie Adam. It's not Charlie Adam, no. I'll take no. that. I'm not interested, <laughs> no. <laughs> you happy you just yeah, not me, that. I'm happy. <laughs> um, the slowest player will go for Bruno Martins, isn't it? No, it's not. They've given it to Peter Crouch. Oh, Crouch. I mean, you, you tell us. You train with them every day. Who is the slowest player in your opinion? Uh, we've not really got any slow players. Everybody's different. Crouch has never been the quickest over his whole career. He's done an amazing job for us. Never, you know, he's never been the quickest from when he was 18, 19 till now. Yeah. So his game's never had to really change. He's always a threat when he comes on, and and that's why you know he's. Um, you know, still playing at the age he's playing, still contributing to the team and, and to the squad. And like you say, his game isn't pace. I mean, he's the no. all-time record goals, headed goals in the Premier League. He's a member of the Premier League 100 club. His, his goals, goals ratio for England is incredible. It's well, amazing. He? And he still scores goals for you off the bench yeah. as well. Yeah, you know, he still wants to play. He's still got that hunger and desire to, to train every day. He never, never really misses a session unless he's injured. He's had a wonderful career and hopefully for a few more years. And as well as all of that, he's a great character. I mean, every oh, player great. that we speak to yeah. loves Crouchy. I mean, you said your dance was... Yeah. Because of Crouchy, how big is he off the field as well? Massive off the field, a big influence in the dressing room, um, and let's say likes a laugh and a joke, and <laughs> you know he's um, you know still going at 36 now, still scoring goals and enjoying it. Yeah, long may it continue. Right, who is the strongest player in the squad? Kurt Zuma. Straight away. I think so. Yeah. Kurt Zuma is second with 83, but there's a player with 84, just one point ahead of him. Ryan Shawcross. Yes, it is, yeah. yeah. They've given Ryan Shawcross stronger than Kurt Zuma. You're not, you're not having that? Not having that, no. <laughs> the, his man mountain, massive. Kurt? Yeah, he's just... For 23 years of age, to, you know, he's the size of him. And obviously, you know, he had a horrendous injury at Chelsea, yeah. that crucial ligament and really bad knee injury. But come back really strong and, you know, been strong and reliable for us, done really well. And you could see the quality he's got and why he plays, you know, in the French national team. Top team like Chelsea, he's a, he's a top player. Yeah, physicality is a big part of his game. Does he train as he plays? Is yeah. he that intense in training sessions? Yeah, every day. Um, and that's why he's one of the best defenders. Still think for me on coming into our club, he could still be playing for Chelsea, but yeah. Conte obviously sees Christensen at the moment, one of the, the better defenders, and, uh, but he's 23 years of age, still yeah. learning the game. and. No, he's a, he's, a, he's a great player. I'm trying to think how good he will become, because as you say, oh. he's, he's not even in his, his prime yet. Not he? even in his prime. And, you know, the only thing is if he can... That knee injury was, was so severe, you know, it's good for him to get his confidence up, play games, and, and hopefully next season get him into the Chelsea team. Who is better at shooting, Peter Crouch or Sido Berahino? Worth pointing out, they're both very good, but one of them has slightly higher shooting stats. i got to go for Peter Crouch. Peter Crouch, 75. Sido Berahino, 77. Oh, surprising. Yeah? Yeah, just... Um, both are great finishers. Um, it's just not happened for Sairo yet. He's just not got that goal. Um, as any striker, they want to score goals, and um, the big man just keeps scoring goals. So it's um, he's uh, both both are good finishers. Yeah, top on that. They're very close stats. Right, yeah. this is interesting. I'll be impressed if you get this. There are three players with the joint best pace stats. Can you name all three players? Three quickest yes. players at Stoke. Three quickest players. Mamdouf. Correct. Shakiri. Correct. You've got two out of the three. Jeff Cameron. No. Do you want me to tell you? Yeah. Jesse. Hesse? Yeah, Hesse. Mm. 83, 83, 82. So the wow. question is, FIFA think they are the joint three quickest players. You play with them all. Yeah. Who's the quickest? Man, man just them? quickest. Easy, easy question? Yeah, easy question. Over what yards? 10, 15, long distances, the quickest, no, no doubt. OK, interesting. Uh, also, similar one, which two players have the joint best shot power at Stoke? I've got to have one of them. Correct, Charlie Adam again. Yeah. Top for quite a few of these, to be fair. Uh, Charlie Adam, 85, great stats. Yeah. There's one other player that is joint top with you. Shakiri. Correct. Yes. 100% got them both right. Mm. Yourself and Shakiri. Shakiri's coming out on top on a lot of these stats. Is, is he the most all-round player he, at Stoke, would you he's, say? He's got all the ability. He's got he's got the talent. He's you know he's got good power, good pace. Um, can score a goal. So yeah, it's you know he's. When he's on it, he's probably one of the best players. And yourself, they've said you, you and Shakiri joint equal. I'm happy with that. That's, yeah, can uh, you separate yourself, you two? Yeah, I'm better than that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll take a word for that. Okay, uh, who is quicker, 
Darren Fletcher or Charlie Adam? What was my what was my um, thing the last time? What yeah, I'll it? tell you that. Your, oh, yours was 43. Speed. Yeah, 43 <laughs> speed. That's embarrassing. <laughs> but like you said, quite rightly, yeah, it's, not, it's not your, your go best for, asset. No, I'll so. go for Fletch. So you think Fletch is quicker? Yeah, he's got Correct. The... So I'm not a slow. Crouch is 33. Oh, um, that's embarrassing for me. <laughs> Would you agree with that? Fletch just yeah, takes a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I would take that, yeah. In the 50 yard sprint, Fletch versus Charlie Adam. Yeah, but I'd, you'd you'd take, money on I'd take him out after about 20. <laughs> you would. <laughs> Charlie, top man, <laughs> mate. Thanks, Good luck mate. for the rest Thank of you. the season. Oh, what have they got to do now? You've got to like the video and subscribe to Soccer AM's YouTube channel. Yeah!